here is the CTC Math Teacher View. So I'm just going to click through a little bit and show you the way that it looks so that you can get an idea of all of the options that you have. So here on the right hand side of the screen you can see the students that I have and I can click on their profile. So this will tell me a lot of stuff and we have actually been on vacation a lot recently. So here we're going to click down to third grade because she is doing third and fourth grade stuff. So you can see what she has been working on and you can see how they rate um, and how they did on all of the assignments. And what I love because it's really important to my daughter is that they do their first attempt and it tells you what to do. And they have the option to redo part or all of it which is fantastic because she is kind of a perfectionist with her schoolwork and so if she gets anything wrong she tends to want to go back and redo it all to do even better or absolutely score perfect. So you can just kind of get an idea of how much she was able to improve by going through some of the stuff again. Like from here she went from 60s to 90 or 100% um, and this will tell you how many times it, they attempted it. Um, so there's that. You can go into here to a summary. So that will give you an idea of what they've been working on, what they still need to finish. Um, we actually switched to fourth grade for her because she was like, this stuff is not what I should be working on and I just let her have at it. So up here you can look through different things for them. So her individual awards. She loves earning these, you guys, and I imagine your kids will too. It's really exciting. So speed skills, I think, are fantastic. We haven't done a lot of this. Um, okay, so we go up here and we can also create tasks for her. Um, and as you can see, it'll tell you when it started or due based on this is just how the the program set this up. Um, a question bank wizards. You can go in if you want your child to work extra on some things and you can create questions for them to work on to really increase their mastery of certain topics. So, okay, let's just do this a little bit third grade here. I'm just going to scroll a little bit more so you can see the different types of activities and how they're broken up in here. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to switch to student view. So now we're looking at this as though we are Maggie, my daughter. So you can come back here and you can pick where you're starting. So you can choose the grade, you can choose the topic, and as you click it will give you different choices over here. So you say this to odd and even numbers, and it will take you right to this. So this is what I want to show you as soon as my computer catches up with me. So what your student is going to do for their lesson is they're going to have a short video. This one is 3 minutes and 22 seconds. Um, so they're going to go through the quick video. And they can rewatch it, they can pause it, they can rewind it, they can watch as many times as they need to to understand it. And then they're going to come over here to questions. And they are going to complete the pattern. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I'm doing a good job, right? Just to give you kind of an idea so then it will tell them what by the check mark or an X how they did. They can move on to the next question. Okay, so that is just going to give you an idea of how it works for them. So if you want to go in and set certain tasks for them, you can. Um, I haven't done that. She just seems to be working through it and then is going super well for us. Um, she can see her results as well. All of the same skills. So I know that we are going to start utilizing the speed skills. What she did recently find that she loved down here was the... I think it was this. I might be wrong. It might be a different screen that I have to go to to find this. Probably. I might be lying to you. Oh no, this is it. So they can go down here and practice one times tables, two times tables, three times tables, four, five, 
all the way up to 12. So you click on the number you want to work on. Okay. So, like down here, 4 times 5 is 20. Like she absolutely loves playing this game and she needs work on her multiplication table. So I thoroughly enjoy that. I hope I don't make a mistake, you guys, since you're all watching. Okay, so they can go through this. They get three tries to make a mistake. So I'm going to exit out of there. But I just wanted to give you an idea of that because that is a game that my daughter has recently started playing on here and it has been going really well for her. So this diagnostic test is going to be great. So that's going to give you an idea of where they're at. You can complete it in the beginning. You can complete it at the end to see how well they've done. Um, and so over here, you'll see the different, like, they can earn their certificate, do the speed skills, or times, tails, sh times tables, shoot them up. Um, I'm going to click on the speed skills real quick just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here. So, new high score, and I just wanted to do this real quick just to give you an idea of what this looks like for them. So they can check their answers, they can read. A few things that I have really loved so far about this is that CTC Math offers a 12-month family membership for an unlimited amount of students. So if you have a lot of kids, you're not paying extra like you would in some programs. Um, I also like that all three of my kids can do this. They can work at their own level and I can add tasks to what they need to do to help them focus on skills that they really need to work on more. Um, and that we can just redo things until they really understand them and get them before we move on. So this has been a lot of fun for them and there are just so many ways to utilize this program to really benefit each of your children individually and help them where they need the help. So I'm going to leave a couple links in the comments so that you can check out CTC Math and the 12 month family membership. I'm also going to leave you another link that will um, allow you to hear what other bloggers have said about how their family is using it and how it's working for them. So be sure and click subscribe so you can check out all my videos as they come up. And I will be talking to you in a few more days about some more homeschool stuff. So if you are get, just getting started on your journey or you are a long-term homeschooler, I would love to hear from you. So drop me a comment and let me know what's going on or how I can help you guys. All right. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.